Now that got really, really interesting. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Herrera here. I hope that you are all doing well. I got into Press It Play at the right time. They have just dropped a brand new single. I am looking forward to watching this, listening to this. Now this is an official visualizer. I don't know what that means. Does this mean a music video is perhaps to follow? Pending. It's not English subbed, which I'm slightly bummed about, but it's okay. I mean, I'm just looking forward to hearing something brand new from them. Oh my god, how many times am I going to use that cringe? I apologize in advance. I do want to make a really, really quick plea. Now, this was released, what, 24 hours ago? And just looking at the numbers right here, 2.5k views. They deserve much more than that. And I don't really have the reach or I don't know the interest level from people to be able to really make a plea to you to please help these guys out because they deserve better. Seriously, they do. And I don't know what to do about it. I can't. I'm just, I'm waiting for the big massive reaction channels, the proper channels, the people that know what they're doing, the professionals, to start reacting to press hit play, um, to give them a little bit of a boost. But uh, help. I'm hoping that some 18 and some other people from different fandoms are here and you're going to give Press It Play a chance with me. Now, letting all of that negativity go, I am genuinely really, really looking forward to this and yeah, let's go. I don't know what to expect. Nice to see the credits right there. They've got a really weird way of sounding fresh and current, but also um, it sounds like a throwback song. Didn't I say that to you last time? That they sound like they're from the 90s or from the 2000s. Oh. He is my man to watch. I am a fan, sir. Like, his vocal tone is to die for. And I am imagining all sorts of artists that I would love for him to collaborate with. That's a very, very strong voice, a unique tone, a richness to it. He's got quite a lot of vocal range as well. And he's young, but he's got a little bit more depth to his voice as well. Gosh. Time is a mess, we live to get by All that I need is you by my side, alright So just hold me tight I've been looking for someone like a long time ago No, it isn't easy knowing people come and go And I think mm. about you, it makes me feel safe I like, I like. You got those pretty eyes that show me back the days when I found you. Now that got really, really interesting. I love the addition of that lower tone right there. Now, the structure of the song is somewhat simple. It's definitely a pop song. It's reminding me of like, I can't think of a particular name. Um, I was going to say like Blue or A1. I don't know who I'm thinking of, but somebody from that kind of a time. Um, it's definitely got that feel to it, which 
to me personally, it really appeals to me. So although um, the structure is quite simple, it's not edgy, it's not current in the sense of the kind of sounds that we're used to hearing from the big massive groups in the world today, not just in the Philippines, in the world, um, it doesn't have that sound. So it's got a simplicity to it. But actually what shines through is these voices. So nobody else is going to sound like this because this is press it play, if you see what I mean. And I really like this sweetness. They've got a real nice genuine feel to them and incredibly likable all four of them i really really like their voices and it's it's really nice to listen to i mean what's wrong with that why does every single song have to be a blow you out the park kind of a song you know why can't you have something that you're going to listen to and jam to because i kid you not and i am not lying the songs that i've heard from them so far i have listened to ever since i listened to them for the very first time um i genuinely really really like these boys I would follow my heart and be I'm going to be singing this constantly. When I'm with you, it feels like brand new. This was super interesting because my find of the day, um, I guess that I have this thing of, I try to go into a group not having a bias. I like to like everybody equally because as I've said to you previously, if there is somebody that I don't quite like or doesn't match my taste, I kind of lose interest in the group and I find them to be a weakest link. Um, and that's not the case with Prasik Lay. I genuinely think that all four of them are on par. I mean, yes, I've said to you that Sev's voice is incredibly special, um, but I think it's just a matter of time before their songwriting, the compositions that they have, um, all kind of click and then they will all seriously level up um, and it's okay isn't it you're allowed to like one voice a little bit more than everybody else I mean I have that with every single group despite me really maintaining this strong line that I don't have a bias um, but my find in this song right here was Yuki I think that him bringing in this lower tone really just it gives you that full picture that full voice right so you have the higher tones and then you have the lower ones and I think it's important for them to continue kind of playing these roles for the time being I think that as we grow um, further with Press It Play as the four of them, as they start to really cement themselves as four um, their part allocations and then playing around with the composition will come a little bit more naturally to them because I think that in the latter half of the song perhaps they could have gone even harder now it maybe doesn't go that well with the lyrics, with the feel of the song because obviously it's a, it's a love song but I do feel like they could have potentially done like a, an extra key change and some crazier ad-libs at the end of it um, but that's just me being really really greedy I'm here I am rooting for them I'm hoping that you're watching and that you're telling your friends your family um, about press hit play like go on just give them one listen that's all it takes um, they're super super likable and I'm I'm really looking forward to getting to know them and seeing where this journey is going to take them. I just don't want them to give up. I think it's far too easy, easy in this day and age to give up, and I don't want them to, because I think actually they're a diamond in the rough. I can see that if they just continue, push through this just for a little bit further, that things will start to happen for them. They kind of need to do it within the group themselves, and then it will reach the audiences. Talk to me about this song. What did you think, in all honesty?
I think in the initial listen, it's plain Jane. It's one to grow on you. The hook really gets you. So you'll be humming and singing that for the rest of the day, no doubt. It's a very easy listen song. The lyrics are incredibly sweet. Um, but there's something. Something needs to click. And I don't know, perhaps because this was an official visualizer, I'm waiting for what that will be. I'm impressed. I genuinely like that. Sweet. Thank you so much for listening to this with me. I hope that you had fun. And until I see you next time, take care. Stay safe. Bye.